Zagreb has seen a fair bit of history, not all of it good, not all of it peaceful. A hundred years ago, in early 1914, war was about to overtake the region. However, the local railway workers were oblivious to what was coming, so they formed a football club. These days, Lokomotiva has set fair in Croatia's top flight, but it's a recent state of affairs. It went half a century as a lower league club and only reached the top division in 2009 thanks to an expansion. However, they do have tradition and now they have a fair bit of backing. Tomislav Ivkovic is head coach. Two and a half or maybe three years ago, the club was fighting to stay in the Croatian first division. However, we've now changed our philosophy and way of thinking. We believe that the players who come to Lokomotiva must think about bettering themselves. They must think big. They must have a goal. They have to want to win something. And they have to know what they're fighting for. Denis Gudasic is central to the transformation. He's a member of Australia's Croatian diaspora and came to the country in 1992 and became a very successful businessman. He arrived at Lokomotiva four years ago with a clear idea that this was a club that could go places. I also saw the potential in, in what we could achieve uh, by uh, improving the infrastructure and the conditions under which the players train. And also I saw the potential uh, in improvement in, in, in management and, and all other areas of our operations. So it, was a, it was a very exciting uh, experience for me and uh, I, I, I saw it as a good opportunity to build something new. Lokomotiva has a reputation for nurturing young talent. For many years, they were the nursery club of local big boys Dinamo. And though there's no longer a formal relationship, there are a number of players with links to both clubs. They include captain Tomislav Farberich. Lokomotiva is a club that helps young players that hadn't been accepted by or didn't prove themselves at other clubs, clubs such as Dinamo or others. Lokomotiva helps young players like this, and I think that's a great thing. Before Lokomotiva came along, a lot of young players were lost to the game while transitioning from junior to senior football. The process is helped by Lokomotiva's new training facility, which caters for youngsters of all ages. Croatia has produced a huge amount of talent, and one player who certainly didn't fall through the gap is an under-19 international who's just broken through to the first team. And there's talk of him going even further. His name is Marko Piaka. Well, it's very important that I play and don't just sit on the bench. Naturally, the more I play, the more I'll develop. Maybe that wouldn't be possible at another club, but here everything is really focused on young players. I hope I'll continue developing and perhaps end up with a major club. Last season, Lokomotiva finished runners-up, albeit 20 points behind Dinamo, and also reached the cup final. This season hasn't been as much fun, and it looks like they'll finish in mid-table, outside the European position. Some clubs would panic at this point, and wholesale changes would result. But Lokomotiva are looking at the long term. The most important thing is, well, let's take the current situation. We didn't win for four consecutive matches, and under normal Croatian conditions, I'd probably be the former coach now. However, thanks to the way of thinking of the people who manage the club, who follow my work on a daily basis and spend time with me every day, the question was never asked and nobody mentioned my resignation. This is very important. The relationship between the management, the coach and the players is our biggest strength. The club has simply for 40 years was more or less not non-existent. So uh, the next step for us would be to try and uh, lobby for, for, for the building of our own stadium, which is very, very important for the club's image. And we think that uh, the building of a smaller uh, top standard stadium would bring in and we would be able to return fans which previously used to follow Lokomotiva and had forgotten about the, about, about the club. And obviously uh, we, we, would be, we would be very keen on uh, establishing the club as a, as a regular 
participant in European club competition. Come back in a few years. Perhaps the Lokomotiva plan will have borne some impressive fruit.